Welcome to this screencast to look at installing Windows from USB devices. And we're looking here at my PC where I've got a network connection, a removable drive, and my BitLocket hard disk. But the first thing we're going to look at is the DVD drive that's got the Windows install files on. And I'd just like you to make a mental note of some of these file names. So we've got Setup, Boot, EFI, Boot Manager, Sources, etc. Now I can copy those and I can then paste those onto my USB device. Now there are some preparatory steps you need to do for that device and I just want to show these to you here. So this is the disk part program. You need to run disk part elevated and you can get a list of disks and select a disk and I'd recommend that you unplug any removable drives that you don't want to process here for fear of cleaning the wrong one. Now you can see clean deletes everything from the disk and doesn't warn you before it does so. I've then created a primary partition. I flag that partition active. I then go on to assign it a drive letter and the next two steps are actually uh, not entirely necessary because the partition is selected but I've explicitly selected it and you can see I've just got a listing of partitions uh, on this drive and then the final step is to format the removable drive with the FAT32 file system. Now that's got a limit on the maximum file size but we're not going to hit that here. So you can see the files on the removable drive if I just open that drive up and you can see here are the ones I told you to remember boot and EFI and boot manager and setup and so on. But there's something a bit special about this drive and in order to do that I need to come over to another program here and this program's called Mobiler and there's a clue in the name. Uh, it lets me see my Windows mobile phone and I've actually switched this over to using Active Sync. A moment ago I had it running in the disk drive mode and you notice it also can plug in and be a modem and it can pop up a uh, menu when I first connect it. Now having switched back to Active Sync, you can see it now shows up as a phone in uh, Windows Explorer and you can see there's the main part of the phone, here's the storage card and again you see those same files set up and boot manager and upgrade and so on. So let's have a look what we can do with this then. So here we have my laptop fairly ordinary laptop, hasn't got any USB ports around the back you can see there's nothing plugged into the USB port this side I'm just going to plug the uh, phone into the USB port on that side get the cable the right way up and make sure we can see the uh, screen of the phone now the camera won't pick this up terribly well but you'll get the principle here as the machine boots you see the light comes on on the phone and it says how do we want to connect to PC I've just confirmed I want the disk mode and now if I press F12 on the keyboard the machine will ask me which of various devices do I want to boot from now down at the bottom here is the option to boot from the USB drive. You can see we've got boot from the LAN, boot from uh, DVD drive, boot from the hard disk. So I'm going to go down and choose boot from the USB drive. And now it just starts to boot the Windows installation as if it would from any other USB device or from the DVD or whatever. So now I can ditch carrying Windows DVDs around I can ditch carrying an extra USB around and I can just use my phone to install Windows and this will work for Windows 7 or Windows Vista Server 2008, Hyper-V Server or as I've got here Server 2008 R2 and now I just carry on and install as normal 